Hello dragons, it's Mr. Kelly coming at ya, and today I have our very special project of making some paper shuriken. Shuriken are ninja stars or throwing stars, whatever term you want to call it. All you really need for this project is, number one, make sure it's okay with your parents. Number two is a piece of paper, and it can be a regular piece of computer paper. It can be a piece of notebook paper. You can even use fun colored construction paper if you have that, but it doesn't matter. Anything you have available to you will work. Even better, when the first time you're trying this, maybe go to the recycle bin and see if there's a piece of scrap paper in there that has all its edges, but that we can use or reuse for our ninja star. All right, so here come the instructions. All right, your first step, go ahead and grab that piece of paper. Now you want to fold it in half the long way. Line up your corners. Line up the edge. And then we're going to make a crease. Nice, good, strong fold down the middle. Really flatten out that paper. Grab your parent. We're going to cut that paper. Right on that crease that we just made. Snip, 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 right on down. Next, we now have our two halves. So we're gonna do almost the same thing and fold that first half in half. Nice lengthwise, again, making a nice sh sharp crease down it, lining up our edges. Mr. Kelly is very particular on his edges. Same thing, take that other half, you're going to fold it, match with those lines, nice strong crease through the middle. And now we have what looks like a number 11. So take that left piece, you're going to fold it in half the other way now. Good. And then open it back up. And same thing on the right piece. Fold it in half, line up our edges. And crease and open that back up. Now we've got those two pieces. Take the one on the right and you're gonna fold it to create an angle on the paper, but fold it so it's a perpendicular going to the right. I'm gonna do the opposite on the left. Fold it to the left. Making that good crease, that bottom part of the new top, it's got to line up with our previous crease. Right piece, left piece, fold in half again, to make a twist in the paper now, and do same thing with the other side, making a twist. See the lining up with the center crease, lined up with the center crease. Now we're going to take that piece of paper, flip it over, and take the left one, flip it over. Now, I'm going to take this piece of paper, fold it to the edge of that fold over. And fold this so it looks almost like the roof of a house. This one's upside down, but that's okay. Same thing, we're gonna take the top one, fold it to the edge. It's a nice sharp crease. And then we fold it down to make that roof on the other side. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the left piece. Fold it in half. That top. Fold it down, meeting it up with the edge. And crease. Last part, fold that one over too. I'm just rotating to make it easy for me to fold. Like that, nice and sharp. 
the last little bit is where those meet, go ahead and make a little fold there. So right at the peak of the roof, make that fold. If you look, there's like pockets on either side. And there's no pocket on that side. So I'll just set that down, reach the other side. Fold that over, fold that over, flip it over, make sure you can find those pockets. Oh, yep. Now, I'm gonna flip one of these over and put it against it. So the pockets are on the top and the bottom. See those pockets? There we go. You can take this tab and insert into the pocket of the other piece. Same thing, flip it around, take that tab, put it into the pocket of the other piece. Flip the whole thing over, tab, slides into the pocket, and the last bit, this is the tricky part. There's a tiny pocket to slide that into now. Slide that piece in. And if you need some help from mom or dad, that's okay. Or an older sibling, they'll help you out. Now slide that in that pocket, flatten it out. And then I call it dressing the edges. Just make sure those creases are good. And voila, shuriken. All right, folks, hopefully you are done with that shuriken. Maybe it looks a little something like this. Your next mission, make it your own. Maybe put some cool designs on it. Maybe try it with some different color pieces of paper. I think Mr. Hardy will like this one. It looks kind of like camouflage. But whatever you want to do to make that paper shuriken your own, go ahead and do it. Now, we do have some cool lessons coming up this week on how to use that shuriken, so make sure you watch out for the videos from all the instructors. But before I get there, the important thing, doesn't matter if it's paper or the rubber ones or when you are an adult and get to play with the metal ones, shuriken, always be safe with them. Treat them like a training tool. That means you don't throw them at people. Doesn't matter if it's your parents. Doesn't matter if it's your brother or sister. Don't throw them at people. Don't throw them at your pets. Your cat might be a ninja in secret, but it's not ready for shuriken throwing. So keep yourself safe. Keep your friends, your family, your pets, everyone around you. Make sure it's appropriate to be using the shuriken at that time. But like I said, we're gonna learn how to use them in all sorts of cool ways. So watch out for the videos that are coming to you this week. And I hope everyone is staying very happy and very healthy throughout this entire endeavor. With that, ninjas, I hope you all endure. Have fun making some shuriken.